home. We're outside the library. There's the sign. The YMC library is open for weaving and textile demonstrations today only. Actually, it's not today only. It's going to be today, tomorrow, and the next day. Because today is Friday, so we're open Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week. So let's go into the library and show you what we've got going on in there. We'll start over here. This is the loom that I let anybody and everybody who wants to try weaving can play with this loom here. Uh, this is my oldest home-built loom. It's probably 20, 25 years old. Um, I got the cheapest cotton yarn on there as I can get. Then here's my Ashford loom. I'll get that towel off of it. I'm uh, making a set of black and white dish towels on there. And as you can probably see right about there, I am just about out of warp. So I'm going to be taking that off there fairly soon and starting a new project. I do have the next warp for this all measured, ready to put on. And here is our old Seavers floor loom. It does need a little bit of repair work. The cords for raising and lowering the shafts are really in bad shape. But anyways, the what's on there, I believe that the warp is silk. And this was mostly done by Grace, the uh, young lady who has been working with me in the library here for the last two years. Um, she did her last day a couple days ago. She's a grade school teacher in uh, September through May. So this is the end of August and uh, she had to go back to school. So I'm going to be cutting that off. We're just about at the end of this warp anyways. And I'm going to rewarp this loom to do rag rugs. Um, I was given a whole bunch of old blue jeans, which I've been cutting up, turning into rag strips. And I hope to, I'm hoping to do some uh, blue jean type rag rugs on here. And here I am measuring the warp for these um, rag rugs. Mm, first time I did it, I did it wrong too. There. It helps if you go around the correct pegs. I'm alternating black and white warp threads. I just think it'll look kind of neat with the uh, blue jean material. I'm only going to put on a five yard warp. Um, that ought to 
be enough for a couple of decent sized rugs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and six is twelve. There you go, and I just got to tie these into a bundle so I don't lose my cross. And we'll be all set to go over to the loom. All right, greeting friends, I have um, finished measuring out my warp. It looks atrocious hanging there, but it works. I went and got a couple of S hooks out of the blacksmith shop, shop which is two buildings down from here. Lucky to have a blacksmith shop so close. I've got the warp through the lee sticks, tied onto the back beam right down there, and I'm about ready to start winding it onto the back beam. I just have to get some paper to put in between the layers, and we'll show you that um, in just a second here. This is. This old Seavers loom is a little bit, um, in my opinion, a little bit more difficult to, to uh, wind onto, but it's not too bad. So, okay, I'm going to go get uh, the paper to separate the layers, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I meant by using an S hook. It's not a true S hook because of this end, but it's the same concept. So it's just holding the um, chain of warp threads with a little bit of weight on it at the front of the loom. And now I can go to the back of the loom and do a little bit of winding on. So let's turn this this way. Can you see the back? Yeah, you can see the back of the loom. I need to walk in front of the camera to get there. first piece of paper and start turning and the threads are relatively evenly spaced up at the top, so we're just winding them on. And I am looking through the loom at the um, S hooks to see where they are. And I've gone about as far as I want until I can go over to the other side and unchain another foot or two and lower the S hooks and then I will be able to continue with uh, winding on this warp. One of the other things you got to do with this old Seavers loom is remove the breast beam here and it's just done with a couple of bolts that I got to just turn out at the front. It's loosened up enough now. I got to do the same on the other side and then I'll lift this off. So let's see. There's my two bolts, and that just lifts off.
so just winding on. That one's caught on something. This should be the last wind on before I start uh, to thread the heddles. One of his caught figures. I think that's about enough. I need to have some to work with for um, threading the heddles. There we are. Okay gang, I guess you can kind of see that I am um, warping, threading the heddles on this now. So, it's, I think I said I've got 196 um, threads. And so this is a slow process. I'm not used to wire heddles, uh, but that's what we've got, so that's what I'm doing, of course. And um, it's a slow process. Threading the heddles is always a slow process. But um, certainly very doable. And I'm alternating the black and the white warp threads. Now, how do I do that? Well, This is a slow, slow process. I don't think these metal heddles are going to show up as well on the uh, camera as the the Texal ones will. So I'm not going to stay too long with this. You get the idea. You've seen me do um, heddles before. Well gang, the next step in the process is to slay the reed. So that's what I'm doing next. I've got a 12 dent reed and I'm going to slay it 8 ends per inch. So I'm doing one thread per dent for two dents and then leaving one dent empty. being troublesome. I don't think you can see real well from 
the angle, but it's about the best I could do given a tripod and where I'm sitting and hoping to get this done. So. Got my handy dandy old fashioned slaying hook. Just tie a little bow knot and slip knot in there and hopefully they won't come apart completely. And we'll grab the next two threads. Okay, the next step is going to be to remove the leaf sticks. And I've just got them tied in, so I'm just going to cut these threads. And on the other side. these away and I can tighten up the warp and put it onto the front. I gotta put the uh, the breast beam back onto the loom so we'll do that next.
pressed beam is on. So let's remove these two sticks, scissors. These were just holding up the uh, lee sticks. So I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tie a knot in the end of this, each of these. And then we'll be able to lash them on. Well, there's that part. Now I will. Um, wind all of it to the back a little bit. I've got a little bit of excess warp up at this end and then I'm going to start lashing on. But I'm not going to do all of that on camera. I'll show a little bit of it in just a minute. Well gang, as you can see I've got the warp onto the loom and I have started to weave just a little bit of header out of uh, carpet warp. I've got I'm using with two threads in the um, shuttle and I've got two threads in this needle because I've decided to hem stitch this. So I am just going through and going over four threads, pulling this through again, go under the first time, come back around and come back up couple of stitches in, or a couple of weft rows in, and so here we go. Well gang, I have finally reached the point where I'm starting to weave the blue jean material in. I'd, what's here from less than my hand with, what's that, about five inches? That's all I've done so far. I've realized, I think I cut the strips a little bit too wide, but too late to change that now. So we're going to simply do just a couple of shots to show you what my process is. I need to be a little bit more careful too with how I sew these things together because occasionally they're getting um, stuck part way through. And I'm really beating tight. I like the fact that I went with alternating black and white and all the whites are on the um, odd numbered treadles and all the blacks are on the even numbered treadles or shafts and so I'm getting this black and white alternating look. I like that.
I think I've mentioned before to the YouTube channel, I know I've told individual people, rag rug reading, rag rug weaving is not one of my favorite kinds of weaving. I much prefer real fine weaving, like the towels or even like the shirt that I'm wearing. Some of you may remember years ago I wove this the material for this shirt. I think I've got a video of that. Although honestly I don't remember. Well, you get the idea. So this will be a relatively short video, I think, by the time I take all these various pieces parts and put them together. Um, this is being done at Heritage Hill, as I think I said when I started the video, and old blue jean rag rugs. So there you go. A quick update video that I have been weaving, just not doing a lot of videos lately. Um, it was the summer, I just didn't, wasn't in a mood. But now as we're approaching fall, um, I think I'm going to get back into it again. So, that's the news that is the news. If you like my videos, thumbs up would be appreciated, subscription would be nice. Watch the videos, comments, put likes on them, all those kinds of neat things that all YouTubers say, and I will see you the next time around on YouTube. Bye-bye!